you're already renowned in India as an inspirational leader and a social entrepreneur with a massive appetite for calculated risk taking. You've led remarkable work in the technology industry while being committed to philanthropic work. Can you take us through the journey that led you to HCL? Thank you so much, Catherine, for a very generous introduction. I have uh, been at HCL Technologies uh, now at the board for 13 years. Um, my journey at the HCL Group uh, started uh, a year or two prior to that. Um, you know, uh, my father, Shivnado, was the founder of HCL Technologies. And um, HCL Technologies is actually a very young technology company in India because we only listed in 2000. And in 21 years, we've grown to the third largest IT company in India. I'm a fairly young chairperson. Mm. So I think it's been a journey of uh, learning. And I think, uh, Along the way, um, whether it's been at the company or whether it's been at our uh, foundations, um, you know, a lot of our organizations are very young. They are very dynamic and agile. So it's allowed me to be quite entrepreneurial in nature. HCL Technologies is now present in every state in Australia. The business is growing across sectors. You've got great partnerships on board, such as the one with Cricket Australia and the recent business acquisition uh, with DWS. In this context, can you tell us how do you see the future growth of HCL technologies in Australia, including its importance as a location to drive strategic partnerships? Oh, and also your community engagements. Yes, Australia has been uh, a strategic uh, geography for us and um, perhaps since 1999. So like I said, even though HCL technology is listed in 2000, our business in Australia actually started in 1999, even before we listed. And today, um, you know, we've grown to about 2,200 people on the ground. Um, and this includes, of course, the acquisition that we've done as well. And um, our intent is to further deepen our roots in Australia um, in the geography. Of course, we um, have more than 80 clients in uh, Australia. Australia is really strategic and um, along with the investments we've made, um, you know, we also have a very uh, great engagement with the uh, McGraw Foundation and uh, you know the work that we do there in the area of CSR and how we can help communities. We hope to grow that as well. You know, you mentioned our um, engagement with Cricket Australia. Uh, that's also something that we're extremely proud of. And then of course, we also have very deep relationships with financial services companies in Australia. So we hope that in the upcoming years, um, you know, uh, our relationship in the country and with the companies there really keeps growing and we do want to grow locally as well. Can you talk a little bit more about how HCL is bringing women into leadership roles? We're about more than 70% independent um, and uh, we have four women directors, which is I think for an Indian company, perhaps one of the largest um, representation of women. So I think the tone on the top sometimes helps define a lot of what happens in an organization. So, um, you know, HCL is privileged to be a part of the Bloomberg Gender Equality Index. You know, we've also been featured in the Top Employers 2021 list and uh, the Forbes 2021 uh, Global Employers list um, as well. I think what the diversity um, and inclusion um, committee which is on the board is looking at is not just getting in a diverse pool of women um, employees but how can we actually help women advance and get to leadership positions sometimes diversity and inclusion also means different things um, so i think um, by having a serious intent on the board it helps drive culture and strategy for the company 
So that's really where we are and uh, you know uh, the attempt is to try to make HCL Technologies as diverse and as inclusive a company as we possibly can globally. And finally, what would be your one piece of advice to women trying to shatter the glass ceiling? I've often been told this as well. It's all in the mind. Assume there is no glass ceiling and go for it. And uh, I think that's really uh, what I can uh, humbly advise. I know it's not easy. Uh, and um, but uh, if it's if it's in the mind and if you can shatter it there, I think you're good to go. Thank you, Roshni. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you today. Austrade has been working with your team throughout HCL Technologies' investment journey in Australia for a very long time, and we can look forward to continuing to do so.